The statement reads, According to quantum mechanics, the electron cloud for a hydrogen atom in the ground state has a charge density rho equal q over pi a cubed e to the negative 2r over a, where q is the charge of any electron and a is the Bohr radius. Find the atomic polarizability of such an atom. Things we should know for this problem, Gauss's law and the atomic polarizability. For the solution, let's first consider the electric field of this electron cloud. We can find that using Gauss's law. Remember that with Gauss's law, we need a symmetry configuration in order for it to work. In this case, we have spherical symmetry, so we know that our Gaussian surface should be a sphere. Applying the equation yields the magnitude of the electric field times the surface area of a sphere, which is 4 pi r squared. This is equal to Q enclosed over epsilon naught, where Q enclosed is the volume integral over the charge distribution. Since the charge distribution for this configuration was given, we simply need to evaluate the integral. Algebraically solving for the electric field, we get 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught r squared onto the right hand side, and we set up the triple integral with the given charge distribution. Let's make our lives easier by bringing the Q over pi a cubed outside and also understanding that the angular integrals with phi and theta end up with 2 pi and 2 respectively and cancel through. That leaves just the radial integral, which turns out to be this. When evaluating, be careful with the algebra and the minus signs. In this first line, note that we have a negative 2 over a squared factor out front. In the next line, we will distribute that in in order to further simplify. Note that the factor of 2 over a squared cancels with the rightmost term, and that negative goes to positive. Meanwhile, the factor just sits by the exponent until we factor into the terms in the parentheses and simplify it down next. This is the field of the electron cloud. The proton will be shifted from r equals 0 to the point d, where e sub e is equal to e, the external field. If you see here, this now modifies the electric field in terms of d, not r, which we see in the red. Our next goal is to make sense of this expression in the bracket. We can do that by expanding in powers of d over a. For the exponential, just a simple Taylor series expansion, which we see in the blue. The exponential is only one part of this expression, however. So we have to substitute that part into the bracket expression and simplify it down. Within the simplification process, we see that once we distribute the blue into the term on the right and minus that from 1, we see that we find ourselves a leading term, 4 over 3 times d over a cubed, due to the fact that everything else before it canceled out. This will be the term we use to simplify down the electric field. Substituting this back into the electric field, we see that we have some cancellations. We expand the cubes into the d and a respectively, and note that the d squared cancels with the d cubed, leaving a factor of d. Simplifying these cancellations down, we see that that factor is exactly what's needed because the dipole moment is qd, and we're left with just that. Substitute that in, and we get an expression of the electric field with the dipole moment. Now we can substitute this into the equation for the atomic polarization, and we note that when we're dividing by a fraction, we multiply by its reciprocal, and we see that the dipole moments cancel, leaving the expression for the atomic polarization alpha. Turns out alpha is equal to 3 pi epsilon naught a cubed.